Hello, so welcome again. This is our lecture number four of Comparative Anatomy of Integumentary System. So we have already discussed about the scales up to fishes. So in this lecture, we are going to take the amphibians and reptiles. Okay, so all the modern amphibians they have smooth and moist skin so the primitive amphibians and some toads are there on uh, jinke bath scales hair present so talking of the epidermal scales the most prominent example in this case is your american spade foot toad okay so what happens is the hind limb of this American spade foot toad, they have a horny structure on their last toe. Let's just consider uh, this is the hind limb of uh, American spade foot toad. So, in the last toe of this limb, they have this black horny structure. And this structure is called spade, hence the name American Spade Foot Toad. So this is actually, um, this horny structure is actually an epidermal scale. Okay, the spade is actually an epidermal scale. Okay, so now talking of dermal scale, these dermal scales are present in some Sicilians. Sicilians are warm like amphibians and they are limbless so they have some pockets in their body and beside each pocket they are having um, dermal scales okay so this was your class amphibia and all the modern amphibians they are going to have very smooth and moist skin with no scale on their body now the class reptilia okay so the cornified structure in class reptilia they are also scale so when we discuss class reptilia ke scale ko discuss karte hain, toh, we discuss it under two categories the first one is the scales of lizard and snake and the second one is the scale of turtles or crocodile here it is not called scales but cutes or osteocutes. Okay, so lizard or snake ke scale ko take up karte hai. So the skin is like this. This is your dermis. This is your stratum vesely. This is your stratum granulosum and finally the outermost and uppermost stratum corneum. This is the skin of your lizard or snake. Okay, so this part is your dermal papillae. Okay, so during the formation of this epidermal scale in the lizard or snake, what happens is that in the dermal papillae, the mesodermal cell aggregate. Ho jate. After this is my alpha keratin and beta keratin. Ye both add ho jayenge. Aur ye push karenge is epidermis ko bahar ki taraf and they will make a structure similar to this. In laser and snake, a process called molting or ectysis is very prominent just make ye apne older skin ko shed off kar lete hain okay so so let's just consider this is your stratum bacilli and this is your stratum granulosum and this is your stratum corneum in the molding process, a extra layer add ho jayegi, and that layer is your tran transitional layer. Okay, so these three they make the old 
epidermal layer okay okay so just before uh, molting or ectysis uh, these two layer the stratum this one is your stratum granulosum and this one is your stratum corneum they both duplicate okay so here you can see this is your new layer that is formed okay this is your stratum granulosum and this is your stratum corneum and these both are the new layers that are formed from stratum bacilli and this one new layer that you see in blue color this is your transitional layer and these two layers are these old ones okay the stratum granulosum and stratum corneum so these two layers along with this transitional layer they are going to shed off in the process of molting or ectysis so this is how uh, snakes and lizard get their new skin and sometimes there uh, is a modification in these epidermal scale modification of epidermal scale you see in the rattle of rattlesnake which are actually a series of old epidermal scales attached to each other so this was your scale in lizard and snake and in the snakes the scales are arranged like this on the dorsal side dorsal surface scales are horizontal, horizontally arranged and on the ventral side they are transversely arranged okay so this completes your scale in lizard and snake now let's move on to the turtle and crocodilian scale let's just consider this is your turtle okay so these are the scale of turtle okay so scales here are very large they have a special name called cutes okay and osteocutes the dorsal scale or cutes they make up the carapace of turtle and the ventral scale or cutes they make up the plastron okay to ye scale jo bahar ki taraf hai ye carapace banayenge aur iske niche jo scale hoga scales or cutes jo present honge which is directly attached to the turtle's body unhe plastron kahenge hum okay to hum dekhte hain ki carapace kis tarah se bana hua hai to individual uh, scale ko hum cute bolenge aur all of those cute combined will form this carapace okay so carapace mein you have five neural median cutes so these five neural neural cutes they are arranged in the neuronal axis that's why the name neural okay and they are lying in the they are lying in the mid of this carapace so that's why the median name and then we have coastal cutes and they are four pairs there are four pairs of coastal cutes and they are arranged laterally okay so these are four pair of lateral coastal cutes and then we have one nuchal cute this one is your nuchal cute and then we have marginal cutes these are 25 in numbers these are marginal cutes 
I have drawn them in red. They are 25 in numbers. And then we have supracordials. They are 2 in number. These are your supracordials. Plastron is just the pony deposition of thermal scale. So that's why uh, they are not called cutes but osteocute. Now let's just see how this how this plastron looks like. This is your guller. Then comes your hum humeral osteocute. Then comes your pectoral osteocute. Then comes your abdominal osteocute. Then comes your femoral osteocute. And in the end, you have this anal osteocute. And all of the, these are osteocutes and they make up the plastron of turtle. Okay. Beside this, some crocodiles. They also have some bony plates embedded in their dermis and some crocodiles also have dermal ribs. And it is present in the ventral abdominal region. So, and the name of these dermal rib is Castralia. Dermal ribs ko Castralia kaha jata hai. So this completes your um, scales in amphibia and reptiles and the rest of the um, skin modification will take up in the next lecture which is class avies and mammals. In avies, there will be feathers ki discussion, hogi, scales ki nahi hogi, and mammals mein hair, horn, hoof and nails, all this structure will be discussed.